The Aperture 600D Pro is comparable to a 1200 watt HMI or a Joker 800. Aperture claims this light has 29,300 plus lux at 3 meters with an F10 for now and 8500 plus lux at 3 meters with the hyper reflector for increased output. It has 0 to 100% stepless brightness control, wireless DMX, and Citus Link app capabilities. I love what Aperture is doing here. You can control everything right from your phone. It has multi-voltage battery plates and supports 48 volt DC input power at 15 amps. The ballast can charge your batteries. That's going to be super helpful on set. This light is built like a tank. It comes with that Bowens mount we all love. 360 degree yoke rotation and a junior and baby pin. The power cable is six meters, and of course, Aperture has included eight built-in lighting effects. Oh, hello. <laughs> you caught me reading my book, The Five C's of Cinematography. Th this is a great resource for many filmmakers, but it's not the reason why I'm here today. I'm here today because I'm being lit by two very special lights. What matters is over here, come here. This is the 600D Pro from Aperture. I think they did a great job designing this thing. It's compact, it's built like a tank. This has a blue gel, and look, I was sitting way over there, all the way across the yard, and it was still hitting me over there. Very bright, very, very bright. We wanted to see how bright two 600D Pros with soft boxes would look outside if they were placed just out of frame to light a subject. And as you can see, <laughs> this looks very dynamic. It really makes her face look very flattering. It's very bright. It's very commercial looking. If it was overcast, this would be different. But right now, because it's so bright in Arizona, this is as bright as they look. This is what it looks like without the 600Ds when we just expose for the skin. And then when the lights are turned on, we can lower our exposure, making a more dynamic image. Next, we moved inside and shined the two 600Ds through the windows. This is how they really shoot a lot of movies. They have lights coming through windows and it gives it a very natural feel. If you look here on the kitchen cabinets, there's this beautiful texture and then there's this natural light coming onto her face through the shears on the window and it just looks gorgeous and all we had to do is put the lights through the window. This is why bright lights are so important. Let us know in the comments which one you prefer. Do you like this look with no lights or do you like this look with lights? So we have two 600Ds outside coming through these windows, lighting up this whole room. We then filmed basic conversation coverage that you would see in a TV show or a movie without moving any lights. Shining lights through a window is a very practical way to light a scene. And this is the kind of lighting you can achieve with the 600Ds. This section of the video is brought to you by HotRodCameras.com. They are sponsoring this video. And if you go to HotRodCameras.com, you can buy the 600D Pro. They do have it available right now. Hot Rod Cameras is located in California, in the heart of Hollywood. Real DPs and industry professionals shop there because of their personal connection with their years of industry experience. It really is a professional place to shop. We are here at Pirate Studios and we are going to be talking to Jerry. Jared Wilson, who is a professional gaffer, and he has never seen the 600Ds before. Jared has given us a few moments of his time, and he's going to let us know his honest opinion about these lights. We showed Jared the 600D compared to the 300D Mark II, and then he showed us his Joker 800, which retails for $7,000, by the way. I would say I describe this thing as my desert island uh, pick for a light. If I had one light to bring with me somewhere, I didn't know maybe what exactly we're doing, I would bring this light. Since Aperture claims these two lights are comparable, we decided to put them head to head, shining them through a four by diffusion. Okay, so we're, we're inside one 600D. I'm at two stops of ND at a T3. Okay. We didn't notice a difference in intensity between the two lights, but we definitely noticed a color temperature shift. I feel like we're in a world where LEDs have their place, but they're not going to replace 
uh, other tools like HMIs. The reason why Jared said this is because the throw between the two lights is very different. The Joker is a more focused light and the aperture is a broad light. It was interesting to compare these two lights, but they really are apples and oranges. We're seeing that in this, this last test that we did, that the output of the 600D is, is more broad than the 800 Joker lensless. Whenever someone is shooting something, I think they need to again ask, you know, what is the right tool for the job? Do I, do, do I need my source to, to go like this? or do I need it to go like this? However, when we put a lens on the Joker, the 600D seemed brighter. I guess it just depends on how you're focusing the light. Next, we talked to another industry professional about the 600D, Ilya Friedman, owner of Hot Rod Cameras. You're a unique perspective here, and I just wanna hear from you your thoughts on the 600D. It's not like any other uh, aperture light so far, except it is like all of their 300 line. It's just brighter. And uh, that's really welcome because not saying that the 300 was a slouch, but to have double, maybe even more than double the output from this unit uh, means you can do all kinds of things that were more difficult to do with, uh, with the previous generation lights in a package that's about the same size. Well, let's talk about how Aperture is communicating with industry professionals. I'm on the, uh, the ASC LED lighting uh, committee and um, Aperture is a member of that committee and uh, they're really uh, listening to feedback. They have a product roadmap that is friendly to independents, but also uh, it's increasingly, incrementally moving up in professional so uh, I think that you'll see a lot more Aperture products uh, everywhere in the future. A lot of people should be the market for the 600D. I think there's some people out there who think, oh, I just use little panels or I just use soft boxes. Why do I want this big, bright, hard light? It's so much better to have more light that you could light up a larger space versus, you know, hey, I've got a couple of little tubes or I've got a couple of little panels. This uh, changes the way that you work. It changes the, you know, it changes everything. And yeah, with the with the lights that aren't as bright, you really got to move them in so close to the subject. But with these, you're lighting more, a little more like Hollywood. Anyone who's interested in the 600D, we have them at Hot Rod Cameras in stock right now. We are shipping them. They are going really fast, but uh, they're wonderful. The, the 600D is, um, or the 600D Pro, is really amazing light. And I, I think that it's gonna turn a lot of heads and uh, it's <laughs> uh, truly, truly worth, uh, worth considering. We're gonna try to light this whole scene with one light, with a backlight and a key light. And the way we're gonna do that is, we're gonna shine the backlight onto this bounce. Even though this is a hard light, because it's so powerful, you can bounce it and shape it. I like this method because it keeps the lights far away. The lights can be across the room and then you're just modifying that one source. By moving the light just a few feet, we were able to achieve this dramatic look as well. I love it. And it's just natural because we're just using one source. Let us know what you think about this. Do you want a 600D? If you had one, do you think you would use it? We're in a very interesting time here where people can buy their own lights. We can afford it. This happened with cameras a long time ago. You would just rent a camera because they were so expensive. And then this revolution happened with DSLRs and so forth, where camera operators could buy their own equipment. Now people can buy their own lights, movie quality lights. If you enjoyed this video, do not subscribe to Epic Light Media. We already have enough subscribers, but you should check out the Cam Noir podcast. The folks at Hot Rod Cameras produce it, and they talk to real directors of photography, people in the industry, and it's a great resource for us as we learn what it's like to be a filmmaker.